Hi, this is Karen. I'm with inspiredbygram.com. Welcome to my channel. So today I am coming on my YouTube channel to announce my card club for December. Um, the last day you can register is December 20th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's actually the last month at this rate of $35 per month. So anybody that joins during the month of December 2020 is entitled to stay at the lower rate of $30, $35 per month. Starting January in 2021, I need to raise that price to $38 because the postage has um, increased and there's just a little bit more expense to that. So I need to cover that in my business. So current members included, again, anyone that joins in the month of December, will be entitled to stay at that $35 per month rate. So let's go over my card club for December. I think you're really gonna love it. It uses the In Good Taste Designer Series paper. As you can see here, I've showcased it in two different patterns. Um, let's take a look at that. It's a huge pack. So many pages. It's a six by 12, so this is what you would receive. I basically take a 12 by 12 and I cut it down to six by 12 and I'll have it all bundled really nicely. Now I could not cut this all at once in my Carl cutter. So I had to piece it um, cause it's, it's like a um, quarter of an inch thick. So um, it will come in a cello bag. And here's a picture of all the wood grains, the tiles, and also this like canvas kind of print too. So lots of different colors. Um, so that's the paper you will receive. Also, you're gonna receive a full bolt of, this is Playing With Patterns Ribbon Combo Pack. So there's three bolts of ribbon here. Um, so that's all gonna come. You will also receive a full package of the pearls, the basic jewels. Now you can see mine's not full, but it's because I've been using it. So yours will definitely be full. Um, the card kits come like this. Again, they'll be in cello bags entitled and numbered with a label. Um, so this is what we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to actually make one of the cards with you tonight um, to show you um, one of the cards. Um, I also showcase a stamp set that I'll be using. So if you want to make the cards exactly like me, um, you would need to have Positive Thoughts Cling Stamp Set. Um, so this is what this one looks like. My other ink colors of choice. Um, if you want to make them exactly like me, my color palette I'm using in December is Rich Razzleberry, Night of Navy, and Soft Sea Foam. Okay, so um, again, this is $35 per month. It's a recurring um, PayPal invoice that is sent to you monthly on the day that you actually subscribe. So say you subscribe today, December 14th, 2020, and January 14th, 2021, PayPal will... Um, uh, charge your car, your debit or credit card $35, okay? Um, so that's if you join in December. All right, so you will also receive my written instructions that come as a PDF in an email, and also I um, print them out in color, and you'll get those shipped to you um, with your card kits. And there's also a pre-recorded video with step-by-step -step instructions for each of the cards. I might have to substitute um, like a ribbon. I had to do that one month where Stampin' Up um, was on back order of the gray granite ribbon. I had to substitute that with um, something that works as well. So that has only happened once. So um, pretty happy with that. Um, let's see, what else do I wanna tell you? Um, I think we're pretty good. So. I think um, if you want to subscribe, you'll have to go to my website, inspiredbygram.com. Again, that's inspiredbygram.com. And click on the post, um, which is right at the top. And you can just click that, and it takes you right to the registration page. Okay, so after six consecutive months, you will receive a $25 um rewards package of Stampin' Up! product from me that I select for you, and you'll get that um, sent to you. So, all right, I'm gonna turn it over to Let's Make a Card. So let me just clean up my area, and we're gonna make the card. So let me show you actually the cards that come in 
uh, no December and you'll make two of each so you have a total of eight cards and you're gonna have a ton of extra supplies left over that you can create um, however you wish but so in this card here you will have the card base the die cut that's in basic gray the stitch circle and a piece of scrap that you can fussy cut after you stamp whatever you need to stamp. On the inside, I will also um, provide a whisper white panel for you to do the stamping. And you can see how I stamped here. This is how I would um, stamp in my video. So this is card number one design. Again, you'll get two. Uh, the next one here is a beautiful deep wood grain in early espresso background. And you can see you know, that little ribbon here slid down. I guess I need to put a glue dot on that one. Um, but you can see how I incorporated the beautiful, um, I think that's pool party ribbon. It's just gorgeous. And again, here I've done this, same kind of layout. This one is a Knight of Navy theme using the Knight of Navy ribbon that's in the combo pack. And this sweet little butterfly here is punched out for you and will be included in the kit. And on the Whisper White panel here, I've already embossed it in the Tasteful Textile embossing folder and here's the inside of this card and lastly here's the one one of my favorites it's using purple posy and to attain this image here with the dahlia I stamped off three times and this is the fourth generation ink so I'm going to show you how I did that today your um, purple posy panel here is going to be co uh, come to you embossed already so you don't need to do that you don't even need to have the embossing folder and again, here is how I designed the inside of this card here. And this beautiful wood grain is the background here. So we're gonna get started creating the cards. In just a second, I'm just gonna show you out my, my layout of the envelopes. There's four here, but again, you would have six, but this is how I've designed the envelope. All right, so card clip is easy enough where you, if you don't have the stamp set or the inks, you can totally use whatever you want to use from your craft room. So again, the kits will look like this in a cello bag. So we're gonna make one here together on camera. So I'm just gonna take everything out, set this one aside, and we're gonna do some stamping here. All right, so we're gonna stamp the label and again i need some scrap paper so let me just find some from my desk here so just, like i said you're going to have to stamp off several times to create that image um, and this is done um, stamped in rich razzleberry ink okay and i see i've got my dahlia here um, so i'm just gonna like i said ink up I'm going to stamp off one, two, three, and now on the fourth try, we're going to get a really, really nice um, light color of rich razzleberry. It really ni looks nice with the purple posy here. Let me just put those together so you can kind of see. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp in Night of Navy, the friends like you mean more um, every year. So I've got that here. And I'm gonna simply stamp right over here. So if you didn't have this stamp set, I would suggest a flower or, or a kind of like um, foliage stamp underneath and then pop it up with a sentiment of your choice. So we have this one done. And on the inside, let's take a look at that. I've got the um, foliage here and soft sea foam and hugs, prayers, and love. So I'm gonna take my soft sea foam ink the foliage stamp set is this one here, so I need to find my inside panel first. And we're gonna stamp off. So let me just see, stamp on, okay. So we're gonna do second generation ink. Stamp off, and then I'm gonna stamp at an angle. So we have a really nice shade of the soft sea foam. And the hugs, prayers, and love is going to be, um, I'm gonna stamp that in rich razzleberry. All right, and the butterfly, need to find that one on my desk somewhere. Um, actually, right here, it was in my little basket. Adding this nice little butterfly off to the side just adds a nice little touch there, okay? So now we're basically going to do the same thing almost with the envelope. Make sure you kind of design your envelopes. You don't want to send a naked envelope to someone, so we're gonna just stamp that full strength. 
And then again, I'm just gonna stamp that butterfly right off, right in the middle of the foliage. Now all we need to do is simply put the card together. And I like to work on my silicone craft sheet. And I've got some gray granite panel here. Again, this will be cut for you at four and a quarter by 11, and I'm gonna have it also pre-scored for you. So um, it's super simple. We're gonna add this to the inside panel. And that's a piece of Whisper White. And I know um, we are um, not gonna be carrying Whisper White anymore. We're gonna be call, call, um, carrying Basic White. So that's a change mid midstream here. All right, and now we've got a purple posy panel, which is four by five and a quarter. And again, I'm gonna give you all the dimensions so you can mass produce these at home with your own supplies if you want to, after you've created the four eight cards. Okay, so that goes right on there. And as you can see, the ribbon's gonna go on the inside of that. So we still need to add a few more things here. Um, we need to add that wood grain paper, which is cut four by three. And you will be doing all the cutting on the designer series paper. Because um, if you didn't like this wood grain, you can choose something else. So I've just got that lined up edge to edge. Now this is where you're gonna to wanna to take your ribbon and you're gonna to wanna to create a bow or a knot, whatever you choose. And this ribbon is one-sided, so you gotta make sure that it is going the correct way. All right. And now I'm just gonna create a bow, hopefully. I can do it on the first shot. If not, then I'll just tie a knot bow. Those work well too. Almost, there we go. And I'm just gonna fuss with this just a little bit to get it to lay right. I think those loops are almost equal in size. All right, and then I suggest that you have a really good sharp um, ribbon scissors on hand. Every crafter needs one or two. All right, so we've got that bow there. If you want, you could secure it with a glue dot. It's totally up to you. Just gonna slide that way over. All right, so now this piece here, this die cut, is going to be added to the other die cut. Um, in Card Club, you will need to have all of your adhesives and dimensionals and also glue dots. Once in a while, Dimensionals may be included in Card Club at Aldo Hens. All right, so in this month, it, they are not, so you would have to have some on hand or just um, um, lay this right down without um, dimensionals. But I like to give it a little bit of height to go over that ribbon. So now I'm just simply pressing down on the middle of those backings to pull them right off. Okay, and again, you have a very short window to um, register for Card Club. My expiration date is 8 p.m. this Friday, uh, December 20th, 2020, and this is for U.S. customers only. So now I'm adding this right to here. Now you can see these cards look totally different, and that's because of the wood grain. Let me just show you here. See how this one is darker and this is much lighter? It's almost the same color as the gray granite. Now we're gonna just take some basic pearls and I like to use the putty side of my take your pick tool and I always like to add three. If you know me, that's what I do, odd numbers and it's usually three. All right, so that is the card. Let me just bring this in one more time. All right, so this is the one we just made. So now I've got two. And then my other design here is more of a Knight of Navy um, theme, so kind of masculine almost. And then here's this really beautiful one here with the early espresso and the deep wood grain. Hugs, prayers, and love. And then one more here is the sending positive thoughts and feel good wishes to you. 
And again, you'll have eight envelopes. And I'm right here, I've got four just to show you here on camera. But um, anyway, head over to inspiredbygram.com to register today. All right, thank you so much.